Hi, my name is John Dio, and today I'm going to look at multiplication method that uses a third number, what we call a base number, to help learners multiply two numbers eventually in their head. It's called the base method of multiplication. Uh, like most skills, practice is important. The more learners practice, the easier it becomes. This first video looks at multiplying numbers near 10 using base 10. I'm going to start with this multiplication, 15 times 13. Okay, some of you may already know the answer is 195. If so, well done. This video clip, however, is about the base method of multiplication. So stay with me as I go through the method. We'll then move on to more difficult calculations, which many of you will then be able to do in your head once you've grasped this method. Note both the numbers are reasonably close to 10, so we will use 10 as our base number. In later examples, the base number could be 20, 30, 50, or even 100. So for this calculation, 15 times 13 will be using base 10. 15 is actually 5 more than our base number 10, plus 5. And 13 is 3 more than our base number 10, so plus 3. The first step is to get our, to getting our answer is to add the 5 to the 13, which gives us 18. or the 3 to the 15, and as you can see it doesn't matter which one we do, as the answer is exactly the same, 18. Don't think of it as 18, because it's base 10 we need to multiply by 10. So in this case it is actually 180, as I say, because we're using base 10. The second step, having got that first number, is to multiply those two top numbers, the plus 5 and the plus 3, together. So we have plus 5 times plus 3, which is equal to plus 15. 3 times 15, plus times a plus is a plus. And we add that number to the one that we got from step 1. So we've got 180 plus 15, which is equal to 195. So as some of you worked out right at the start, 15 times 13 is equal to 195. Now you may want to pause the video and rewind it and watch this first part a few more times just to get your head around the two steps involved when using base 10. Or you may be happy with what you've seen and want to press on to watch another example. Okay, so we're ready to look at another example. This time let's look at 14 times 16. Again, both numbers are reasonably close to 10, so we'll use 10 as our base number. Remember, this is about you learning the method for doing these calculations. So for this calculation, 14 times 16, we use base 10, and 14 is 4 more than our base number, so plus 4. And 16 is 6 more than our base number, so plus 6. The first step to getting our answer is to either add 4 to the 16, which is 20, or 6 to the 14, also 20. It doesn't matter which you choose, the answer is exactly the same, it is 20. But as before, don't think of it as 20, it's base 10, so we multiply by 10, uh, and it's actually 200. Uh, as again, I said, it's using the base 10. The second step, remember, is to multiply those two top numbers together. So we have plus 4 times plus 6, 6 4 is a 24, and plus times a plus is a plus, so it's equal to plus 24. 
we then add that number to the number that we got from step one. So we've got 200 plus 24, which is equal to 224. So 14 times 16 is equal to uh, 224. Again, you may want to pause the video and or rewind and watch this and or the first part again, uh, or even a few more times to get your head around those two steps involved. Uh, when using base 10 or again you may be happy with what you've seen and want to press on to watch another example okay so you're ready to look at another example this time it's slightly different as you'll see uh, the methods the two steps aren't but there is a little bit of uh, difference and you may need to pause and or rewind to get your head around those differences Let's look at this time 8 times 17. Again, both of the numbers are reasonably close to 10, so we'll use 10 as our base number. Remember, it's not about, um, it's about you learning the method for doing these calculations. And like everything new, may take a little time for you to get your head around the method. Don't give up, it will be worth it. So for this calculation, 8 times 17, we're going to use base 10 again. Uh, 8 this time is 2 less than our base number. See the difference creeping in. So it's minus 2. And 17 is 7 more than our base number, 10. So plus 7. The first step to getting our answer is to add the minus 2 to the 17 which gives us um, 15, or the 7 to the 8, which is also 15. Again, it doesn't matter which you choose. The answer is exactly the same. It is 15. Remember, don't think of it as 15 because uh, it's actually 150 as we're using base 10. The second step is to multiply the two top numbers together. So this time we've got um, a minus 2 times a plus 7. So 7 2 is a 14 and a minus times a plus is a minus. So uh, this equals minus 14. And we add that number to the one that we got in step 1. So we have 115 minus 14, which is equal to 136. So 8 times 17 is equal to 136. Again, you may want to pause the video and watch this and or the first couple of parts a few more times to get your head around the two steps involved when using base 10. Like most methods, practice helps and you may get to the stage if you practice enough where you can do those sort of multiplications in your head and that will impress many people. Uh, have a practice, have a play and hopefully by the time you've got your head around this I will have produced the next video which looks at base 20 and base 30. That's all for now from me, John Dio. Bye for now.